Hi, I'm Scott with the GPS store. About 11 years ago, we did our first NEMA 2000 video introducing the NEMA 2000 network. It was very new at that time, um, how it works, what it does, and how you can use it on your boat. Um, a lot has changed since then. Uh, number one, I had a lot more hair at that time. Uh, but as far as the system goes, uh, it is basically the same. There are some new options and we'll go over some of that. The, but as far as the NEMA 2000 system itself goes, the basics are still exactly the same. Uh, it's, con it's comprised of NEMA 2000 T's, NEMA 2000 terminators, NEMA 2000 cables, and power cord. Uh, and they're all gonna be standardized. They're all gonna be standardized with the male and female ends. Uh, to put them together is very simple. It's basically just a plug and play system. Um, one of the nice things about it being standardized and plug and play is that it can be extended as much as you'd like. This is gonna be just a 3T system, which would basically be the minimum that you would be able to do. It's gonna be the bare minimum because it's nothing more than allowing you to connect power, connect two devices. So in this system, the way we've got it set up here, as I put it together, you would connect this to your 12 volt power. This would go to let's say your GPS device or chart plotter display, whatever you would want. And then this third T would then connect to another NEMA 2000 compatible item. Like let's say a wind sensor or temp sensor, um, an AIS device, something that may be getting data, sending it through the NEMA 2000 to the chart plotter or vice versa. Um, it's very simple to use. Uh, as a matter of fact, most boats today are coming with the NEMA 2000 already installed on the boat. So all you would need to do is extend this backbone if needed. Some boats do not already have them on there and it's very simple to add. For boats that don't already have it, you do have two options. You have your NEMA 2000 standard kit, which is this. So basically, again, it gives you the ability of extending it out. It is a little bit more wiring involved. Another option would be to use something like this Actisense. This one, is basically just connecting it through power and ground. And then the T's and the terminators are already built in. So you would simply connect your cables directly to this. The disadvantage to this, the only disadvantage is that you're maxed out with four, four T connectors or four connectors. And that's not something you can extend or expand on. Uh, they do also make one called an SBN2. This is the SBN1, which has eight connectors. So that may be better for you if, if you need. Some other NEMA 2000 items that you may want to consider, depending on your application, if you're using a smartphone, a tablet, or even a computer PC, uh, are some more of the ActiSense devices. This is a NEMA 2000 to Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, this is a newer item on the market but essentially this would just connect through the NEMA 2000 extension cable to the T and would then uh, output the NEMA 2000 data via Wi-Fi. Um, perfect for a smartphone, tablet, something that you don't wanna have connectors with. Uh, they also have one that's a NEMA 2000 to USB connector. Uh, this would be, usually you would see this in your bigger boats, your trawlers, um, sailboats, things like that that would, you would want to connect to your PC. So you go through, again, NEMA 2000 cable into the device from the backbone into the USB on your computer, and whatever's on the backbone is going to be going right to your PC. So as you can see, there are lots of different options. NEMA 2000 is a very easy system to use. It's very easy to install, and there are lots of options as far as expanding the system goes. If you have any questions, please call us here at the GPS store 1-800-477-2611. Thank you.